Hello everyone. So if you have just received your new Galaxy device or are waiting for it to be delivered, then just before getting used to this awesome device of yours, make sure to download a few apps which will enhance your experience a lot as a Samsung Galaxy user. And when I say a Samsung Galaxy user, I mean it because most of these apps are only available on Galaxy Store. So just before starting, I would like to tell you all that I've pasted the links to some of the coolest accessories available for your device in the description of this video, so you can have a look at them too. And also soon I'll be making a lot more content for the latest Galaxy S21 lineup. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to never miss an update. And now let's get started without any further ado. So this is our first app in today's video. As you can see on my screen right now, my volume panel looks a lot different than yours. And I have a lot more options available as compared to your volume panel. I have an equalizer where I can set custom values. I can make my own preset and I have some default presets like pop, jazz, rock and many more. I can switch to Dolby Atmos from my volume equalizer only and that's not it. So this app's name is Sound Assistant and once you'll open it, you'll get a lot more options. So as you can see, you can change your volume panel theme. If you want your volume panel to be appeared on the left side of the screen, you can change it to that. You can change the color pattern, color scheme of your volume panel too. This was just about appearance and now let's look at some of the cool features where you can play sound at the same time on different apps. So let's say I'm playing one song on Spotify and another song on YouTube music. So both of these songs can be played simultaneously with different volumes and also in volume panel you can decide as you can see, Spotify is connected to Bluetooth, whereas YouTube Music is connected to my phone. So these songs are playing on my phone at the same time, but on two different devices. One's output is from my phone speaker, whereas other's output is on my Bluetooth device. You can also use separate app sound here. So you can select an app. So as you can see, I've selected my app YouTube Music here. I can select any app. For example, here I've selected YouTube and I can change its default audio device. So whenever I will play a song on YouTube, it would be connected to my Bluetooth device and give output from my Bluetooth device instead of my phone. So this is a really cool app. And again, that's not it. There's another cool feature where you can select different apps and set default sound for them. As you can see, individual app volumes. So let's say whenever I'll open YouTube, then the default volume is set to somewhere around 40%, for Spotify around 50%, whereas for Opera Mini and for Netflix, it's set to 100%. So you can change the default volumes for different apps. And to download it, you just have to go to your Galaxy Store, search for Sound Assistant without any space and look for this app. So just install it and trust me, it is one of the coolest sound panels and sound related apps available on any store. It is available for free for all Samsung Galaxy devices, so just go ahead and download it. So for the second app, as you can see, I swiped on the left edge on my screen and I got the notification panel. For the second time when I swiped and hold, I got all these options. I can change brightness, I can set volume, I can turn on Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and I got all these options. So the name of this app is One Hand Operation Plus, which helps you in operating your phone with the help of only one hand and it doesn't matter how large is your screen. So it will first of all show you two invisible panels. So when this app is open, you can see two panels but they will be invisible as soon as you'll close these app. And you can assign different operations to the different ways in which you will swipe these panels. So if you'll just simply swipe this straight left, swipe this panel straight left, you can assign different operation. For diagonal up and diagonal down, you can provide different operations. So as you can see, I have set diagonal up action to previous app. So now I will just close this app and from the right panel, I just press diagonal up. I just swipe diagonal up and my previous app was opened. And there are tons of different operations that you can do with the help of different types of swipes available. And you can just disable any one handle if you want to just keep the left handle. So I prefer to keep just the left handle. So I've just activated that one. I don't like the right handle. So you can just disable any one of them if you want. You can keep both of them if you want. There are different advanced settings in this app too if you want to take control of them. And also you can have different intensity of vibration when you swipe these panels from intensity ranging from 1 to 10. So I really like this app and if you want to download this app, you can simply go to your Galaxy Store and search for One Hand Operation Plus and look for this icon and download this app. Trust me, it might not sound really interesting of an app, but it is really cool once you get used to it. Now this third app is the only one for which you require a PC. You can download Samsung Dex from Samsung's website. It is available for both Windows and Mac OS. So once you have downloaded it, on your phone screen, you will see an option like this. So once you will connect your device to your PC, you will see an option to start Samsung DeX. And as you will click on start now, your phone will be opened inside your computer as an other virtual computer. 
and now you can access your phone like a computer inside your computer as you can see how cool is this you can access all your files all your media all your apps and another cool feature is that so as you can see i'm going into my audio folder and i just want to transfer one of the audios from my phone to my computer so i can just hold it for two to three seconds and i can simply swipe it to my pc and it is transferred that's it as you can see this audio file is on my pc now and i can open it and you can also access different apps on your phone through your computer so now i am on full screen so my laptop is a 15.6 inch display and you can see now my phone is opened inside my laptop so if you have any important work to do for which you require a big screen so you can simply download samsung dex from official samsung's website and use your phone as a laptop so that's it for this app now let's move to the next one so the fourth app is samsung email it is one of the best email apps available for phone devices as you can see this is the portrait mode and as soon as i'll switch to landscape mode i will have a layout like this which looks as if i'm working on my pc i can open my mail on the half of my screen i can see my mail and i can also have a look at my inbox also while typing i get a lot of options for just transforming my text and make it look cool and there are a lot more options available you can make different folders and also you can not only just connect to your gmail you can connect to your hotmail your yahoo at only one place so you can get all your emails at one place and have this layout as if you're just working on a pc so this is one of the best apps available for email so if you get a lot emails on different accounts so just download samsung email and connect all your accounts to this one app so now let's just switch to the portrait mode again so as you can see this is the portrait mode and how it looks it really looks nice and if you want to download it you can just go to your samsung galaxy store search for samsung email and download it from there so as you can see on your screen you can download it from here so this is one of the best email apps available so just download it and now let's move to the last app of our video so by default there is no default video app available for your phone because gallery just shows all the photos and videos at one place so just download this video app where you can have a look at all the videos available in your phone and once you will open your video you will have this look where you can see the folder as well as the video at the same time and also you can just watch it in full screen and the best part about this app is that you can have picture in picture view so once you will click on this option you can see you can do all the tasks you want to do on your phone while just watching this video i'm opening my gmail now and i can have a look at my mail while just watching this video and also this is a really great way of organizing all your videos at one place if you want to have a look at all your videos you can just have a look at from here and you can just simply download it from galaxy store just search for samsung video library and just download this app and this is the best video library available for any samsung galaxy device so just go and download it if you're into videos and stuff so these were the five amazing apps which you should get used to while you are getting used to your new galaxy device to enhance your experience and lastly none of these apps paid me for including them so the reason why any app was here was just because i like using it so that's it for this video if you liked it then please leave a thumbs up and also i'll be making more content like this regularly so don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day